It was more than just a simple shovel full of dirt. A shovel which marks a new journey and the start of a new beginning. On Tuesday, the road to a new stadium for the Minnesota Vikings officially got underway with a groundbreaking ceremony outside Mall of America Field, a day for the organization, state, and fans to start the shift to a new era in Vikings history. It's a new beginning right now for us uh, to be here today and uh, see everybody here who worked so hard to get uh, this project going and uh, look forward to the day it opens up and that everybody from all fans and everybody can enjoy this uh, tremendous facility that we're planning. It's a great day, monumental day. Twelve years at the Capitol and 18 months once the bill passed. So 13 and a half years to get to this important milestone to get the shovel in the ground. But it's, it's a great day for our organization, for our fans, and, and uh, for everybody in Minnesota who's going to get a chance to go into this building. The 65,000-seat stadium set for a 2016 opening will be state-of-the-art in every way and give the fans the ultimate experience each and every Sunday. You know, we've been fortunate to see all these buildings around the country, and a lot of our fans have, but a lot haven't. So I think they'll be pleasantly surprised with what an upgrade it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be the kind of place you're going to want to bring your whole family to, to really make it the kind of experience that you want to spend a day there, whether it's the, the, the food you're going to be able to, to partake in or, or, or the, the, uh, the game itself or, or what have you. We're going to make it the kind of facility people want to go to and entertain themselves. Tuesday not only signified the start of construction, but it also was the beginning of a two-and-a-half-year project that will provide plenty of economic development for Minnesota businesses and workers. Well, we've been talking about it for a long time, about this moment, about let's get people to work. Uh, there's a lot of people in the, in the trades that are, are fired up about this project. And, uh, you know, it's it, about 3,000 people work in the building on every Viking game day, so there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of employment. And just the economic impact, the Super Bowl coming, you're going to come here, uh, NCAA Final Four basketball, and also we're going to get uh, a, a BCS college football championship here, too. We're already a finalist for that, that game. So all of those events are economic impact, putting people to work, and uh, generating revenue for our state. It may seem like a simple shovel and dirt, but they symbolize so much more. It marks a new chapter in the history of the Minnesota Vikings, a major economic boost which will create hundreds of new jobs and a top-of-the-line venue for the state of Minnesota to enjoy while cheering on the Vikings. Very exciting moment for our fans and for the community to, to just start to see that, that ground's actually uh, moving and, mm -hmm. and we're getting started on this, this dream becoming a reality here after so many years of, of uh, discussion and debate and negotiation, and now that this moment's really here, uh, it was a great moment, and we appreciate the governor and the state and the city and everyone pulling together, and most importantly, our fans, who uh, really deserve this great venue and uh, looking forward to many, many years ahead of great, great football. It really is an exciting day to be able to uh, be here for a groundbreaking after so much hard work by so many people, uh, and it'll be a proud moment when we open it up and uh, have all the fans enjoy it and have everybody enjoy all the events that will be here.